Should the punishment for MPs using inappropriate language in Parliament go beyond expulsion? What would be appropriate? I don't know if they should go beyond expulsion, but they should have a penalty for using foul language in Parliament. Um, I don't know what to say the punishment should be, but I think they should be accountable for their actions because they are a public figure. Looking at somebody's tenure there, if you know they've become somebody that's, you know, uh, had a history of acting like this or you know, using these sorts of phrases, then yeah, I I, I would say looking at their their position as a whole and uh, the suitability of their role, uh, maybe they're not somebody that you would want as an MP. Maybe they shouldn't be an MP anymore. <laughs> I think our MP should act with honesty and integrity and 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 bad mouthing somebody and calling them a name doesn't accomplish a thing except to make me wonder why somebody has voted that kind of person in. Well, I don't mind them using some harsh language. Uh, you know, t if if it's done relatively tastefully, but sometimes a, a bit of harsh language does, you know, shift people's minds pretty quickly. Um, but I I mean I would prefer to see the parliament be professional. Uh, but I know they have to use lots of, lots of the politicians are lawyers and they have to, they're, they're, they're a brash, aggressive group of people. And no, I don't believe so. Uh, definitely things get heated and things are said in the heat of the moment. Um, they're, they're saying if it's inappropriate words that aren't uh, racist or hate language, I believe that it's appropriate to be ex have an expulsion for that day. Uh, I think the expulsion uh, was, I, I think it's justified if terms like that are being used, but I think that it should be fair towards everyone in the in the house because I believe Trudeau called Povea uh, spineless as well during the that same debate. I think it just should be the same across the board instead of just directed at one person. Uh, well, I think it just depends on what's said and how it's said, really. The context of, of uh, uh, the leader of the opposition, uh, Pierre Poilievre, what he said about uh, about Trudeau and his uh, and his uh, operation there, and be, being quote wacko. I mean, he the, the speaker told him three times to correct what he said, and he just just interchanged the words with other words, uh, uh, extre extreme. He said and ter uh, other things like that. So after giving him multiple opportunities, I think there, there there should have been the penalty, and I think what the speaker came down with was right, was appropriate. Because you got to maintain the quorum in the in the house. Expulsion being just, I'm assuming okay, just for the, just for the day. Yeah. It, no. It should. You think that's appropriate? Yes. Okay. And I, you? I agree. I agree. It, sh it should just one stay day. there. Yeah. One day, and learned their lesson. I would hope. Uh, okay. You know, they're supposed to be adults. Uh, I think the expulsion is enough, actually, and you know, at least for a day, I'd say for sure. And I don't really buy that. Um, uh, the Conservatives were saying that the Speaker unfairly sort of targeted Polyev or uh, censored him. I think calling somebody a wacko is completely unparliamentary. So that, that's what I think. I don't think what, whatever it was the uh, Prime Minister said was not... Spineless? Yes, yeah, spineless, but it's not, it's not... I don't know, I don't think it's on the same level. And I'm not really a fan of either of them. Less of Pierre Polyev, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I think it was fair. So I think personally, when you're in a professional role like that, we need to hold people to a pretty high standard. And I think using an appropriate language, uh, when you're in a position of power like that, uh, it should definitely uh, get the proper punishment and it might have to go beyond such. Like what? Uh, maybe we could talk about um, legal actions and maybe fines for uh, using an appropriate language. What would be appropriate? Well, expulsion plus fines some kind of reprimand because they have to have respect for the country's main facility that's what it's there for they want us to have respect for government they should at least have respect for the building they're in in order to create an environment where people think that the politicians are having good conversations that are based on uh, like they're making evidence-based decisions and it's not personal to me when you start using that kind of language it sounds more personal and I think that we need to get back to the politics that of governance as opposed to the politics of showmanship. I don't think beyond expulsion but that, again it depends on the severity of what they are saying if it's very outlandish very, very out there if, you are, if they are personally denigrating someone then yes I, I think it should be. So what would be appropriate? 
I mean, some sort of fines. I tend to use pretty colorful language. I know, like, Parliament isn't the, the place to be using it, but uh, I feel like expulsion should be good enough. Um, it might, uh, depending on what they're using, if it's a racial slur, maybe, yeah, definitely uh, things should go further than just expulsion. But um, if they're just dropping an F-bomb or an S-bomb or something like that, like, I could see past that.